Alright, if you're watching this on OG Shadow Official, go down in the description or in the comments and it'll be pinned. My new channel, OG Shadow Official 2, where these videos come out a day earlier. If you want to see them earlier than that, you can get on my Patreon, as well as you can see videos that uh, I can't put on YouTube, like me taking a, or bleeding out, I should say, a bullet fragment, doing some walkthroughs of the streets. And I post at least three up, you know, every week. This week I posted more. I posted probably like 10 videos just to the Patreon, but check it out. Definitely worthwhile. And what can I say? You know, this violence is not sustainable in this area. It's <clears throat> reminiscent. The only thing I compare it to is what was happening in Juarez, you know, back in the, before 2010 era, it was really kicked off there. And it's starting to look a lot like that right now in Tamaulipas. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of video and I'll break down what's going on there for you. So check it out. Check out the new channel. Comment down below. Like. Do your thing. Have, have a good one, everybody. Hey, ¿qué es esa madre tú, gordo? ¿Pastillas o qué? ¿Dulces o qué son? No, 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 Uh, All right, so while speaking on cartel and arrest of the Northeastern Cartels, Alliance with Chapo Isidro, you know, at the same time, they're fighting Cartel Jalisco. They're also fighting their own local battles that they've been fighting for a long time, uh, especially against their oldest enemy, because they are originally Zetas, which would be the Gulf Cartel which is originally where the Zetas came from and broke off. They're originally mercenaries for the Gulf Cartel. That's a short history for you guys to know what's going on. Now, there's a highway, and I'm going to include video in this to prove what I'm talking about, where people disappear and have been disappearing for a long time. I've spoken on it, I think, two times before, but it's really picked up recently. I'd say, like, in the last... Um, three months, four months, and a lot of this involves American citizens. We're about to get into that too. So it's the highway that runs in between Monterrey and Nuevo Laredo. And you know, the FBI has been looking into this highway. There's at least 50 people that have disappeared recently and at least six to nine of them, because they're not sure about three of them, um, disappeared in this area 100% for sure. Now the office of the FBI in San Antonio put out a bullet bulletin, for example, looking for Gladys Perez Sanchez, a mother from Laredo, Texas, her 16-year-old son and her nine-year-old daughter. The last time they were seen was on the 13th of June when they decided to travel on said highway. Now there have been some people as well who have come back alive and talk about, you know, a checkpoint basically, stopping them and beating the sense out of them and taking their car. And they were badly beaten uh, when they showed up, but they were lucky to get away with their lives. If you guys want the truth at the end of the day, because most people don't, especially if they're women or children, uh, use your imagination, right? Now, Jaime Rodriguez Calderon is the governor of Nuevo León, 
And he also put out an urgent, like, warning for travelers not to use that highway unless it's completely necessary for them to do so. And the government, you know, has been making somewhat of a show to protect the highway. They've been putting National Guard, um, local police, stuff like that to patrol it and at some point. But this isn't anything permanent. We all know the, you know, this government presence is eventually going to go away and it's going to go back to what it's always been. Now, the Fiscalia General, the Attorney General's office, also announced a plan to provide security and, you know, somewhat of a sense of norm normality in the area, but I don't see it happening. And we have to remember right now, you know, the Gulf Cartel and the Zetas also, you know, are involved in this area. So you take carts of Jalisco and throw them into the pot on top of all that. It's uh, not good, you guys. The violence is just going to get a lot worse. If you look at the 15 innocent people who were massacred by the golf cartel just to heat up the plaza, you know, think about that. Now, in 2008, in Morelia, uh, they actually threw grenades during the Independence Day uh, celebration. And things like that, you know, the mother disappearing that I spoke on are just examples. Why I think, you know, these are, I don't think like foreign countries should intervene, but I still think these groups should be classified as terrorists, at least for here in Mexico, so the military can deal with them in a more I don't know how would you say lethal manner, you know, the groups that particularly target and hurt civilians, you know, should be put on a higher priority list. I feel all the groups should be, you know, if the government's fighting, they should fight them, right? But they should prioritize by who's doing the most damage to the civilian population. And that's what this channel is about. I like to point out injustices and massacres, just anything like that that's going on um, here in Mexico that no one wants to speak on. So if you're watching this on the old channel, go check out the new one, OG Shadow Official 2. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys around. Have a good one.